Man Max comes to you live from Close Out Bats, and today we're on episode 5 of the Roundtable Discussion, Mad Max TV, and happy Monday to all you followers out there. I am jacked up today. Have you seen this much excitement in a while, bro? No. Yeah. I had a great weekend. Roy, did you have a good weekend? It was okay. I had an awesome weekend. What did you do? Uh, went out to dinner. Um, Alright, that movies? sounds boring. I had a fantastic weekend, guys. I, myself, worked Saturday. I didn't really do much Sunday, but ultimately, if you guys like working here, you heard about the kid that quit last week, you give up your weekends pretty much working here. You have no life. Close up, that is your life. So, if, you, if that sounds like you like that, then yeah, this job would be perfect for Send you. an application in. <laughs> so, on Monday, this is our first show Monday, and Roy, what do we do every Monday for the last 10 years? Monday Madness. So, Monday Madness, ultimately, is going to be a slew of deals that usually are only for what? The day only. Monday. That day, Monday. If you come back Tuesday, if you come back Wednesday, unfortunately, we will not have that same deal. The price will go up. So, today's deals are featured around DeMarini baseball and softball bats. The blemish bats that we have in, some bats that are just last year's model, some real, real good deals. So, let's highlight a couple of those deals. I'll give my two favorites, and then Roy can give his two favorites. All right? And also, guys... I know I'm talking to Facebook, but I'm also talking to Instagram right there. So we got a double feature going on here. So Instagram people, I'll try to keep up with some of your questions. But Facebook people, I'll try to keep up with some of your questions. Do we have any questions going on right now? Anybody ask any questions? West Coast, are you up? It's 5.33 in the morning. I have the Rhino asking a ton of questions. Shout out to the Rhino on Instagram, by the way. That's like family right there. So I'll give my first deals that I like. Guys, I like the retooled. CF Zen minus 10. So retooled meaning that means that it's going to have that orange end cap. This bet was hot as anything. It was so hot that Demarine had to take a bunch of them back, retool it by changing the end cap, and then making it legal, which the orange end cap, it still performs still, real yeah. good. Still one of the best minus 10, 2, and 3 quarter. This would be good for those kids that are playing club baseball. So if you play on a team where you're traveling to different tournaments every weekend, and restrictions are, hey, it needs to be 1.15, you triple say thumbprint to it, this would be the bat for you. I like that bat, and then I also am a big fan of the CF Zen minus three bat. So this one's going to be the balanced one. White grit means that it's balanced. This is a blemish bat. So blemish means that it's going to have a minor paint smudge to it. I'll show the guys on Instagram first the minor paint issue going on with this bat. So usually it's towards like the the handle right there, or towards the the barrel, and then also the Facebook feed. I'll show you that too as well. You see, it's just some. And because of that, it's going to be on sale for three eighty. All right. So normally four fifty, now three eighty. Now, what are your two won't, favorite? Won't affect deals? the performance of the bat. It's just the minimal cosmetic imperfection. So yeah, definitely true. All right. What are your two favorite deals? Slow pitch, the one. You like the one? Love it. Love the one. Okay. Philly mac and cheese hitting bombs with this bad boy. Okay. Yeah, All right. Plus wanna... three hundred, half price. Okay. We don't want to describe anything else about the bat. You know, associations or all associations. All associations. Okay. So for those people that are saying, "Hey, I play only ASA," or "Hey, I only play U trip," or "I play both," what do you have that's going to be proof for both? The one. I like the. I like it too. I Good agree anywhere. With and then for fast pitch softball, another blem, CF Zen. Minus eleven. Rocking 350 down to 280. Yes, and Miami Dolphins colors. They lost yesterday, but ultimately this bat wins every time, right? You like that, that price? price? Yeah. So 280, all right? Guys, any questions coming in? Somebody wants to know if there's any deals on other days of the week in, in case they miss Monday Madness. Yes, there Good is. Question. So that's a great question. Um, there is deals every day. So we're going to be doing this show every day up until Thanksgiving. There's deal of the day. So we do a deal Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then a bonus deal of the day Saturday where you, if you miss Fridays, you can take advantage there. We usually try to keep it uh, daily. Like Friday is designated for Fast Pitch Friday, and then Saturday carries over. Sometimes we'll hit you with a Sunday email as well. But you got to click and join, and then uh, you'll see all the deals. You have to open the deals. Yes. You have to stay engaged, otherwise it actually takes you off the list for the next couple days. So even if you see something Tuesday, Wednesday, keep opening so you get the following day, so you follow through the whole way. That's good. Keep opening. I open my emails all the time. Bed Bath & Beyond, I've been on their list for like 
10 years now. You haven't yeah. bought any of them. I haven't bought any <laughs> Somebody signed me He's up. He's linking an email. Yep. Somebody <laughs> signed me up one time. 21 viewers. I don't know if that's accurate or not. So I like that on a Monday morning. I'd love to see some people uh, are up right in early like us. Those guys that are wondering what's in this mug right here, it's only coffee. It's, that's why I'm not jacked up. That was a good question by David Riley on the Monday Madness deals. Let's see if Instagram's got any play here. We'll go to Instagram real quick. Gary Samborn says, that's a cool coffee mug. I like it. <laughs> AR.Mondos. Keep these live posts coming. When will the Louisville Select 718 USA come out? Sorry, bro. 718 USA will not come out in USA. Any DeMarie Slacker bats on sale? Yes. We have some DeMarie Slacker bats on sale. They are now $199.95. Was $350. That's a good deal, actually. Mm -hmm. It might be too low. A bunch of people join. Is there a warranty on blemish bats? Marvin, uh, my man, Marvin HGD1. That's a familiar name. There are no... Uh, War there's not a warranty on the blemish bats, unfortunately, just because it's being sold at a lesser price than what the manufacturers wanted to advertise. Need an ASA great hitting bat. I look at the flipper. We have some of those on sale. Whatever happened to Rocco from Brooklyn? Well, why don't we get Rocco to call the work number right now, actually? I, I'll, I'll suggest that. 201-664-4916. Give us a shot, Rocco. What's the best USA bat? That's probably the Ghost X. Well, Instagram is up bright and early. I'm thinking some of these kids should be in school, though, don't you think, Roy? You would think. Yeah. Roy, why always wearing rolling? Somebody wants to know. What's up with your choice of sweatshirts? Somebody. That's a good point. Why are you always rocking the rolling sweatshirt? Uh, it's the most comfortable. Well, that's actually a good segue into the next thing that I wanted to talk about this morning. We have a Rawlings promotion going on um, where you go to the website, you go to the Rawlings section, and there will be a banner later today that will say Rawlings Prize Pack. And if you go there and you see the Rollins prize pack, you click that, you fill out your name, fill out your email address, and then you're boom, you're entered in this contest to win up to $500, like a, a gift card through Rollins where you can buy $500 worth of gear. You know, you get like, you can buy a sweatshirt like this. You could buy 10 of those probably actually for, for the $500. That, whatever you, know, you want. Whatever Bats, you want. Gloves, Quattro, whatever. You know, pro preferred. Ultimately, this is through Rollins, but sign up. Close up ads and Rollins have partnered on this giveaway leading up until thanksgiving brian gates wants to know he, he says he's, i'm still having a hard time with justifying the money on an axe bat for a trip or a usa bat is it for real i i mean it's a, it's a little vague question i'm not really sure what he means by that but uh yes very real uh I, I think we can both agree that we're both very high on axe when we had real low expectations coming in that's the truth i was thinking like i don't know i mean our expectations were actually i think it was last winter season that uh, they were after us for a while and then we finally buckled and they said hey listen let's put it in and whatever you don't sell we'll take back and within two weeks we had to place a reorder yeah for what we sold so we were we were sold right there it took literally two weeks for us to then be convinced that this is a viable brand and we needed to buy it yeah so i think we've never looked back i mean we, we're all we're full steam ahead hey do we have that new axe bat that just came in friday why don't we show the the viewers that bat right for the mookie bets yeah let's show them that I'll be right back, guys. I don't think it's I don't think it's out here. On Friday, when that bat came in, it is the lightest swinging bat. I mean, you just kind of just take it and one hand in it, and it is like just butter. So, guys, the Axe Avenger is Axe, one of Axe's best bats. It's a two-piece composite bat. It obviously has that Axe handle. Now, the Mookie Betts is their best colorway bat. Ultimately, that red, white, and blue. Anything red, white, and blue seems to kind of just crush it. This is the Axe Avenge with the Mookie Betts colorway. Nice barrel because it's composite. Nice light swinging bat, minus 10, with a two and three quarter drop. Now stay tuned because around Black Friday and Cyber Monday, good deal going on this bat. I don't want to give too much away. And also, you know, we talk about the Rawlings giveaway. In a couple weeks, we're going to be giving away one of these bets to one lucky fan out there, or one lucky uh, consumer, let's say that. Mm -hmm. A couple of people saying, what's up this morning, James Banks? It's a... a Coach Banks? Yeah, Coach Banks, familiar face. What's up, man? Glad to see you're up early. And then Bruce Anderson says, good morning, fellas. Good morning to you, Bruce. All right. Any other questions coming in? I'm on a delay here. 33 viewers, so it's gaining some steam here, right? I think people are still just waking up a little bit. Waking up. Do you watch any football? 
No, I'm boycotting football. You don't watch any football? Nope. I didn't watch any football either. No football. I didn't watch any football either. Nope. I'm done with football. Done with football. Well, it's sad that baseball's over, you know? Let's see. Instagram seems to be kind of wild. 13 viewers. Like maybe, maybe, maybe they like the up-close face shot of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like yeah the, it's, the, a, it's an extreme close-up yeah, when you go over there to like, read the questions. You know, I think they may try to probably play racquetball off the forehead. <laughs> Softball ASA axe bat. Um, we will have some of those in stock uh, later in the year. I know that a lot of people have liked that, and uh, we decided to bring those in. So See what Pete Kennedy said? He wants to know what the lightest end load minus three is. <laughs> Say that again? He wants to know what the lightest minus three end load is. Ooh. Kind of contradictory. It's kind of like an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp, you know? Yeah. Because um, if it's end load, it's not going to be a you know, well, light swinging back. Probably the 718 select, because like from Louisville Slugger, like a couple years ago, the 618 select was so end loaded that Louisville um, took a year off with that bat. And then ultimately they brought it back this year, which they still call it an end loaded bat, but it's it's they're, it's not as extreme end load. So I, c I can give you that answer. 718 select I would feel comfortable with. Oh, I, I have some questions coming in. They kind of came in right now, right? What would be a good drop ten and under for? I don't know, do you do you understand that question? What would be a good drop for? Oh, ten and under. For ten and under, I think it means just ten. You. I thought it was ten drop. Uh, so Baseball. probably no softball. I, I would assume. I, yeah, softball. I said. Sorry, I. It's early for me too. I would say minus eleven or minus twelve. Probably the minus twelve, like the hyper light, the vendetta, the X twelve. These are all bats that are good for any girl that's ten to twelve years old. You know, that's where we want to be ultimately. Carl's got a good question. He says, hey, guys, will the U-Trip bats be legal for USA Baseball or vice versa? Yeah, that's a good question. So uh, U-Trip LSA will not be allowed in USA, but USA will be allowed in U-Trip LSA. So, you know, uh, think about that. Think about in, in U-Trip LSA, you could spell out the word USA, but in USA, you can't spell out the word U-Trip LSA. Good trick to kind of know that. Big Lou on Instagram says, tell Roy he loves my Rawlings truck. He has pics of it. I do. Oh, yes. Yeah, we do. Is that Lou, Lou and Giselle, right? It just says Big Lou 2354 on Instagram. Right? Yeah, that's the yep. deal right there. Love it. Well, we got some good slow pitch deals. I don't want to get you in trouble with Giselle right now, Lou, but there are some really good uh, some good slow pitch deals right now. We got that uh, game change in bat that uh, you can adjust the knob and adjust the, the end cap. I know you really like that one. That looked cool, right? Mm -hmm. so, so Daniel says he's looking to buy a new bat for his 10-year-old son for next year. He plays Cal Ripken League ball and U-Trip tournament ball. Considering the Axe or Moab, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, well, Moab, we don't really have those. Um, so I'm going to say Axe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you know... Axe really like really high in them. They're on the rise. It's not like they're on the decline. You know, being honest with you, they're they're you know they're going up. Oh, they're in the game. Yes, yeah, so they're going sure. vertical. I like the axe. I can say this like um, you know, we, I just don't want to talk bad about the Moab because we don't carry it. So I don't want to get into you know uh, saying like oh I don't I don't think that's a good bat. But I, you know I would give the axe a shot and feel comfortable with that. Marvin on Instagram wants to know what the lightest minus five bat is. Uh, Cat seven, you know, probably that one piece of aluminum would be the lightest swing one. I saw. I think Marvin also has something about the CF Zen as well. I like that CF Zen bat. I think that's one of the most, uh, you know, if you said best two minus five bats, I mean, I would have to say aluminum would be the Cat seven, and then uh, composite would be the CF Zen. Composite, uh, yeah. the Zen stands head and shoulders above everything. So the guy who asked about the U trip, vice versa with the USA, yeah, yeah, he kind of missed it. I don't okay. think he heard you guys. So, so. Carl. Uh, U Triple SA bats will only be allowed in U Triple SA, but USA baseball bats will be allowed in U Triple SA bat. Uh, right, play. but know that the USA bat will not perform as well as a U Triple SA bat. So if you're going to use the USA bat for both, know that you're kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage playing U Triple SA baseball swinging a USA bat. Ooh, do we have a phone? We have a phone call here. Let's let's get a phone here. Let's get him on the phone. Oh. Technical difficulties. Yeah. What do you think will be the best performing drop ten USA bat for Little League? Best drop ten will be the Ghost X. I, I really feel like that would be the the best one. Hello from from Texas. Who is who is better at minus ten softball bat, Di Marini or Zeno, and why? So. I would say that that the Zeno would be the best minus ten softball bat out right now. You know, it's hard to go against something that has been so good for the last five to seven years. 
ultimately that's been like the the bat that so many manufacturers have chased the Zeno. We talk about Zeno standard, Zeno standard. So I go Zeno. All right. So that we have that question. What do you think about the Louisville PXT 12U for softball? Now that's been a, a topic that we've covered, you know, almost every show. You know, PXT has not been quite as good as let's say the LXT or Zeno. So I'm ultimately going to say stay away from the PXT. Maybe let's try the LXT or Zeno. Now, if you like the De Marini softball bats, but you uh, you know you, you want to try a Louisville, the PXT is almost like a hybrid. It's like a De Marini and Louisville Slugger softball bat coming together to create one. So that's uh, that's what I I would say. You know, maybe stay away from something like that PXT. We good, guys? I lost my cameraman here. Yeah, back. Back. Do you know anything about a D Marine minus five USA bat? So unfortunately, they do not have a minus five USA bat. Well, master, is that a fax machine? No, that is not a fax machine. Sorry, we're not stuck in the '90s still. Where are you guys located? We're in New Jersey, northern New Jersey. Any questions coming? James out? James wants to know what do you think about the Louisville PXT? I asked. I answered. You that. answered that already. Yeah. While we were taking care of the technical difficulties. He said, "Lewis, did you get Lewis's uh, question?" What was, uh, he says, "Hello from Texas. Who's better, minus yeah, ten yeah, softball bat, Demer or yeah. Zeno?" Uh, we need to replace all our bats for Little League. We have about twenty-five teams. What is the best value for bulk order of bats? Like, need two bats per bag in various sizes. I'd say, Eric, give us a call, shoot us an email, you know, ask for something like this rather than do it, uh, you know, over the obviously uh, show. What's the best third base club? Twelve U. Lewis said that. Is this Lewis from Texas, our buddy Lewis from this Texas? This is Lewis from Texas. He is up bright and early. Lewis, what do you do for work is what I would love to know also. You now, let's, uh, I want to give you a shout out. So, best third base club, 12U, I would probably say the Gamer, something like that from Rollins. Or, you know, if we wanted to step it up, maybe the Dual Core from Rollins, you know, the people like that. Dual Core, Heart of the Hide, it's a little bit softer, a little bit more broken in. You know, he's at 12U. Yeah, you know, so he's a little younger, so you could maybe even go with a smaller glove. But I think like the greatest value we have right now in a high end glove is that eight two K. It's only eleven and a quarter, but at twelve, you could use it anywhere. Yeah, you know, that's a three hundred and sixty dollar glove for one ninety nine. David says Marucci Posey Alloy Big Barrel. How's that bat compared to a U Trip nine one seven Zen Ghost? You know. I might have got the, the question like this before. Uh, somebody sent me a message about what I thought about the Posey bat. And, you know, I think the Posey bat's cool. It looks cool. But I think when you talk about the, the barrel size, um, you know, when you compare it against a composite, you're going to be just right there at that disadvantage ultimately because it's just not going to have that same sweet spot. You know, when we talk about composite, you're able to stretch that composite without compromising weight. Where on aluminum bat, we're very limited. We're kind of can't, you know, do those types of things. I mean, aluminum is has come a long way. You know, we're able to put, uh, you know, the manufacturers, let's say that, uh, put composite end caps on it and do different stuff with it. So, uh, you know, I'd give the edge to the composite when we talk about that uh, category right there. Lewis answered your question, too. He said he's a pastor of a church and his wife played for the University of Tennessee. Cool. She's a player. Uh, Linda, will the Eastern Ghost be legal, be illegal for high school fast pitch softball? No, it will be very legal. It's ASA approved only. It's not UAAA approved. So you have nothing to worry about if uh, you wanted to use that for the high school or college season. Brian Briggs wants to say, he wants to know what you guys think about the C of Zen drop 10. Oh, C of Zen drop 10, whether it's minus 10, uh, whether it's two and three quarter or two and five eighths, really high on that bat. You know, we have last year's one where uh, if you guys are just joining us right now, we talked about some Monday Madness deals that we have. We send out an email every Monday to what those people. On that bat now? So it's actually this Monday only. Last game, I, I made a last minute change to it. It was going to be two forty nine ninety five for today. Audible. Yeah, Audible one ninety nine ninety five. So I wanted to give you guys a good deal right before the Thanksgiving season. So. Clarence says, "Hey guys, I was looking at getting the new All Star Catchers Gear set, but it will be a Christmas gift." Could I exchange it if it doesn't fit after the holidays? My daughter is right on the edge of the youth slash intermediate. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you give us a call and we'll, uh, you know, obviously if you're buying it for Christmas, we understand that usually we have a 30-day return policy, but 
things get a little bit difficult around this time of year. You know, people want to get stuff uh, out of the way. So, yeah, we will definitely take it back. Any other questions? I have somebody here that says, I will only buy from you guys. You're the best. That's Elise Kuehl. From Emerson. Emerson. Yeah. Cavos. Emerson. Go Cavos. Cavos. Thanks, Elise. Thanks for the shout out. We got morning gentlemen from Matt. Morning. Arlie Davis says, Westside Stars from way down deep south Louisiana says hello and he's hoping to be able to buy a couple of team bats this coming rec season. What's up? Shout out to oh, Louisiana. I got Lewis asking, where do I find that brown cup again? Where I forget where it was. If, Ga if Gary's out there, he's the one that got the cup. If Gary's on Instagram, let's. Uh, yeah, same thing. He. Yeah, he posted it last time. Yeah, yeah so he posted it. It was something lumber. Yeah. Oh, like yes. Land, is, land lumber. Yeah. Dot com or something like that. Landing lumber or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Maybe Gary can fill us in on yeah, Gary, where he got it from. Come on, bro. What's up? I mean, he can't be playing much golf right now, right? It's also Mizuno Ghost Baseball uh, BB Core bats. Sorry, we don't carry the Mizuno bat. Regulate store hours this week. Yeah, so we're open uh, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6, and then Saturday, 8 to 4. I got a Quattro, but I'm mad I didn't get a CF Zen from you guys. Well, come on, bro. Get the, get the Quattro, too. My man Lewis getting on Gary now, too. So, yeah, Gary, come on. Ha! Come on, Gary. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Where you at, bro? Speaking of Lewis and, and being a pastor, shout out to, uh, you know, uh, I just want to say we our hearts go out to the families that lost uh, the people in that church, you know, that terrible, terrible incident down in Texas. Yeah. yeah shout out to Lewis. Tom wants to know, any deals coming up on the new USA bats, Easton, DeMarini, or X? Mm. You know, that's tough. You know, these are new bats, so they're um, price protected, which we'll go over uh, maybe in a, another episode. Like, all the manufacturers come out with these bats, and they uh, ultimately set the price that it cannot be sold for less than what that uh, that mat price is, you know, advertised as. I think already you're already seeing, though, that these uh, USA bats are going to be super difficult to get. Yeah. Uh, already we're trying to place reorders, and they don't have stuff already, so things are getting pushed back and back and back. So yeah. I have a feeling that after uh, holiday, you're going to see a lot of holes in inventory for people all over the place. Yeah, so it's difficult to say like, hey, we're going to come out on you know this ghost bat, and it's gonna, you know we can't do that even if we you know wanted to do something like that. You know these deals, it's usually like anything else, like BB Core baseball bats that are out right now. They're not going on sale till June or July. Same thing with these USA bats. But these those are, bats, obviously, we have deals. Yeah, on. there's you know so if you're saying deal, I get it. Um, you know then I would say. You know, go with something like if if price is obviously you know we're price sensitive then fifty one fifty minus ten or minus eleven at a hundred dollars or Omaha at a hundred dollars how can you go wrong with them? Those are great uh, bats. At a hundred dollars they perform real well and they swing real nice so like you know that would be my suggestion. Go with something like that. Speaking of which, Greg Sorrell says looking at USA bats and I'm convinced that the Rawlings fifty one fifty drop ten is as good as the Easton Beast X and the composite appear to be dead. Mm. You know, I'd say the 5150 minus 10 and the, the Easton Beast X, yeah, I'm not totally sold on the Easton Aluminum bat. I, I really like the Solo um, from Louisville Slugger. We've talked about it every day. I, I really do like the Solo. I think that, that we've all determined yeah. that is by far the lightest, I, easiest I, swinging bat. Yeah, I think there's also um, the Omaha from Louisville, which it's a minus 10, and I think that, you know, that's all. I, I would probably say Omaha might be better than the 5150, and... Uh, I would even say the 5150. I, I like to compare it to like brands. So like I don't want to say hey, is the 5150 better than Easton Bat. I'll say that is the 5150 better than the Velo. You know what do you think? Uh, you know to me I'm seeing it kind of be like that's not a big uh, change like 5150 versus no, Velo. No, it's not like hey you're, you're going from 100 to 200 and it's a better bat, twice as good a bat. It, it, it's not. I think that the 5150 uh, definitely. Is awesome bat and yeah for the money it's a steal david baker says hi guys my son plays nebel league in massachusetts it went to usa rules even though it is club elite you recommended the ghost minus eight for him the other day because of his size what else besides the ghost would you recommend and it just says he's five foot seven 
Doesn't really say anything else after that. Says he's one sixty. Yeah, I'm not getting the full the whole full question on. Wasn't he one fifty the other day? <laughs> no. Uh, swinging Demer any thirty two twenty three voodoo right now in cage work. I remember this guy. Um, yeah. So I mean, minus eight. Really? Yeah. You're kind of your one option would be that uh, ultimately that ghost or that 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 beast. You what know? about the uh, axe? You could go with the axe too. Yeah, you have the two axe ones. You have the origin and the element, which are both minus eight. So maybe throw those into the mix if you're looking to make a, a change there. Like the axe origin, I think is like a hundred thirty dollars. Like a hundred thirty dollars yeah. for a minus eight would totally be. Yeah, I would. I would agree. Yeah, go with the check out the axe. That would be solid. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, back on here. Interactive Lewis here. Is it true that softball bats should come to a kid's hip? When it's younger, I'd probably make the age, and it's no rule of thumb, but probably, let's say, like, 11 and under. You know, we try to go by the hip test, but... After, yeah, but where is your hip? Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. Yeah, because if she's 11 and she's, like, 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, you know, she's not swinging a 33, 34-inch bat. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. You know, that... I mean, you know, she stands up, uh, point to her hip, and then go an inch up or an inch down, and I'd still consider that her hip. Yeah. So it's kind of tough. Lumberland company makes those mugs. Glove Master on Instagram told us. Thanks, Gary. What is Glad it? You... Lumberland. Lumberland. Yeah. Glove Master. I knew it was something like that. Glove Master. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, my team went to swing off using all USA models, and the Neon Rollins bat seemed to outperform Ghost. I won't disagree with that. Wes on Facebook says, "Guys, my son is 10 in U Triple S A baseball. He's been hitting the Vexo minus 10 and looking to upgrade for Christmas. Quattro, Zen, or Ghost X?" Quattro Zen. Ah, oh, Zen. How do we go against the Zen? Whether it's 2018 or 2017 retooled, I'm all about the Zen. Greg Sorrell says, Solo is solid. What does barrel size compare on Louisville and 5150? Yeah, I'd say I'd say it's about the same. You know, so, mm, I might give the edge to the Solo. On the barrel size? Yeah. In the minus 11 category, you know, when you talk about the 51, 50 minus 10, it's going to definitely have a little bit more thickness to the barrel uh, than the solo minus 11 and the 51, 50 minus 11. Yeah. Jerry Archuleta says, what's the break-in time? How many balls should be thrown for it to be good to go? Uh, I'm assuming it means break, break in on one of the bats. Like maybe how many hits? How many hits to break it in? hundred for sure. Yeah, I mean, the, and just continuously rotate the bat so that you're hitting on all sides of the bat, high on the high on the barrel and low on the barrel. So maybe uh, uh, just kind of rotate and keep on taking BP every every third swing or so, uh, uh, rotate it a quarter inch. Yeah, I agree. Uh, David Baker, guys, would the Voodoo two piece thirty two twenty two be a good choice for him? Should I wait till the Zen comes out? On December fourth, yes, one fifty. Uh, sorry, mistyped it. He said. <laughs> so he's talking about the the five foot seven, one fifty. The kid yeah, that swings yeah. the minus eight. Do you think? See, I that's the memory that I have. That's the great memory that I thought he was one. I, I knew he was one fifty the other day. Um, I, I I like the Zen, the Zen in thirty two. You know, the thirty two over the Voodoo. You know, the Voodoo's a nice bat. I think right now for Demarine, it's the only bat that they have out, so it's kind of done well. But I think that Zen is just going to be really, really good. Yeah, really good. I'd wait for the Zen if I were you, David. Interactive Lou wants to know the difference between the Zeno and the Zeno Plus. Nothing except for, you know... You just just the word plus? It's going to be the same thing as the plus plus when <laughs> well, that comes out they make, Well, no, they make minor changes. Lewis has a fair point. You know, Lewis, they they make a, changes, but at the end of the day, does the ball go I, further? You know, they went from, let's say this, like I think the composite off the top of my head is the S1 ID technology. I think then they called it S1 like ID plus or something like that. So the, they made some minor changes to it. It's hard to mess with the bat that's been so good for the last five to seven why years. Why mess with it? Yeah, why mess with it? <clears throat> you know, I would say this, like, in year one of the Xeno, there were some durability issues, right? In year two, there were some durability issues with it. In year three, there was even some durability issues with it. So then how do we make a bat better that's performing? We make it more durable, and we try to get it to be durable and high-performing. And I think that's what Louisville's done great with the Xeno. Very rarely is a, is a Xeno bat breaking, you know, the, at the rate of what it once was. So no, yeah. I think that maybe they've had some waves in their end cap this year. Maybe has been the only thing that I've seen. Like, oh, like the iPhone Plus. Yes, exactly like the iPhone Plus, Lewis, yes. So uh, Jerry Archuleta ch chimed back in. He says, last question, what's the best way to clean the bats? And thanks and good morning. Um, 
I think you can answer. Goof off. I mean, I mean, I could jump in. I'll, I'll say goof off. Um, maybe a little grease lightning. Be careful how much you use or how long it stays on the back because it can still peel the paint. Um, or the uh, the magic eraser from Mr. Clean. It always works too. A little bit of uh, hot water. Is the Demer to USA bat any good? Yes, the Demer to USA bat is really good. I like the Voodoo, um, but I think stay tuned because twelve four of the CNN should be launching, so that's going to be a good one. What USA bat has the best pop drop ten? Well, uh, you triple, I'll say they said. Uh, you know, to me, that's the easy. That's CFZN either 2018 or 2017, which 2017, we've got a good deal going on. Uh, this Monday Madness for one ninety nine ninety five every size, so definitely take advantage of that. Somebody asked, what's the best minus three? I'd probably say Cat 7. Turk from work joined in. Turk, uh, Uncle, Uncle Freddy showed up. Wow. Wait, Turk from work? What? You're West Coast, bro. 902 right now it is? Whoa, 602. That's All solid. Right. Dedicated. Doing, putting in some road work this morning. Getting <laughs> jacked. <laughs> Uncle Freddy joined. Uncle Freddy. Uncle Freddy's our glove guy, in case anyone out there uh, ever needs a glove re-strung or, you know, on a Wilson glove wants to change the pocket on something to a different color. We're actually a certified Wilson uh, uh, glove master, right? Freddie got uh, christened by uh, Osso himself. I'm going to try out bats today. What should I try? Are you going to come here, P. Kennedy, I hope? Are you coming here? Let's find out where he's at. Uh, Hector wants to wants to know, hey guys, so in your opinion, is the CF Zen 2818-10 the best bat for a nine-year-old? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you triple say it's, it's yeah, that bat is, it's hard to go against something like that. That's been the best bat. We cannot go against that, ultimately. In North Carolina. Oh, okay. Well, try them out in North Carolina. I would try the, you know, the Cat 7. I try them all, man. Take advantage. Try whatever they got there. I know we got every bat here, so, but see what they have. I will always buy from you, though. Oh, I, pre I appreciate that. I, I try the Cat 7. I try the Velo. I try the 918, 917 if they got that. I could also try, uh, you know, CF Zen and uh, Ghost, too. Try well. them all? Try them all, dude. Interactive Lou wants to know uh, who who makes the best batting gloves. Oh, that's easy. Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. How do you go against Franklin? I mean, they're durable, you know, as anything. I think uh, Easton has some awesome colors. I think that uh, I like their colors, but they're a little on the thinner side. Um, you know, Franklin's definitely on the thicker side, but they seem to last. They, they don't seem to blow out. They don't seem to have seam issues. So I'm going with Franklin. That Roy has spoken. That's it right there. We got a phone call coming in. You want to take it, Roy? Take it. Close out bats. Hector says thanks, guys from Florida. Thanks, Hector. On your email? Let's see. How many people out there has uh, have done the Rawlings uh, giveaway, have joined that? Because if you don't right. know about it, you see Roy rocking the Rawlings sweatshirt right behind me. Yeah, we're doing, for those, for, the, yeah, for those Instagram fans out there, we're doing a Rawlings giveaway where I'll put the link up in my bio on Instagram. And if you click the link, it will take you to that page where you could ultimately, you fill out your name and you just fill out your email and you're entered in the contest to win up to $500 worth of gear from Rawlings.com. So... You get a pro preferred, you get a new yeah, Velo, you get a new Quattro, or softball people out there, you could also get the same stuff too, yeah. as well. Or you could just yeah. buy like 20 of those sweatshirts that Roy's wearing, yeah. which would be cool, right? This is management only. Yeah. We got one of those in gray and blue as well. All right. All right, well, can you hold on for me? David Baker did. Oh, Lewis, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow, man, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. David, you did. Will the Rawlings giveaway be on Facebook? Yes, here, I'll actually, I could actually, uh, I'll actually just put the link up right now. I can, I can do that while I'm waiting for these guys to come back.
All right, those people out there, I just put the link up. I just commented on the on the field right there. You'll see it. An idea when the Zen or 918 Prime USA bats will be available. Jared asked. Well, Jared, so the Zen will be out. They're saying 12-4 is the date that we're kind of getting on it. And then the 918, unfortunately, Louisville was not able to get a 918. Now, I don't want to make any promise and say it's definitely not happening, but from what I've heard from people, it, it's not it's not happening. Jared's the last question I had. You, you got that one with the Zen in 918? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One is the shipping address, and then the 1234 North Santa Fe, that's the billing address, right? We'll wait for Roy to come back. And then we'll, clo we'll close it out after. We'll close it out. On the billing. Let's see. You got any Instagram? Yeah, I got some. Is the Mako Beast available in a drop three? Yes, it is. We actually have a good deal on that bat. That bat's going to be two forty nine ninety five. Who did you want to win the World Series? Somebody asked. Ooh, well, I mean, we're Yankee fans over here, or Mets fans, but myself is. I'm a Yankee fan. I was devastated, but uh, I wanted to keep it in the AL. I wanted to see the Astros win, especially with Harvey going on. There. I was rooting for the Astros. Yeah. Texas could, you know, Houston could have used it after that uh, LA, huge storm that they LA, had. Yeah. What's the best 2917 USA bat? There's only a couple, so I'm going to say the Beast X minus 12 would definitely be the best. On your site, the 2017 Retool, the same as the Zen. Yes, I mean, ultimately, yes, it is. Yankees, Harper's coming. Uh, well, hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. We're out of baseball mode right now. Uh, we're in baseball mode every day, but uh, MLB, we're out of that right now. Max, I got a question from Will over here on Facebook. He says, hey, guys, my son is moving to 13U here in NYC yeah. and also moving to BB Core. We mostly use wood and only metal in tournaments, so not looking to break the bank on a metal bat. We play around 100 games between, I'm assuming it says spring, you know, spring and summer ball. Yeah. Um, again, the question doesn't finish on mine. You got it over there? Yeah, approximately 70 to 30 uh, splits wood. Currently, he swings... A T one forty one oh, I just missed it. What did he say? I don't know. I, I, mine's cut off. Oh, you know, when you type a big paragraph on this, it doesn't doesn't show Will, everything. Send that again, my man. Sorry. My son just turned nine. He's four six and seventy five pounds. We're leaning towards a thirty inch Eastern Ghost X Hyperlight. Does that seem like the right size? Yes, I told, I'm big on that Ghost X Hyperlight for anyone that's eight nine or ten years old. That's kind of Come to under that seventy five pounds. Drop eleven. Yeah, drop eleven. Yeah. Right. Good. All right, hold on. I want to get to Will. Hey, guys, my son is moving to 13U here in New York City. Also, moving to BB Car. We mostly use wood and only metal in tournaments, so not looking to break the bank on a metal bat. We play around 100 games between spring and summer, approximately 70 to 30 splits wood. Currently, he swings a T141 model wood bat, 3229, and used 2016 combat maximum 3227 in his 12U season. So I'm thinking he wants a suggestion for a BB for a baseball bat. Well, I, I think first thing is is if you're in New York City, you got to come here, bro. Unless from well, the GW not, Bridge. Well, so. that's not going on the guy's case. What if he's been here before? What if he's you know been here a hundred times and he's like, dude, you know, I was in there last weekend. So, Will, I'm going to say you've been here before. I'm hoping if you haven't, what's going on, dude? Get come here, all right? Um, I probably would say the Cat Six, you know. In thirty-two twenty-nine, I mean, one hundred fifty dollars or anything that's left. Omaha's a great deal at one hundred fifty dollars. Um, if you're wanting to stay with that combat bat, we actually have a good deal on the combat maxim right now. Um, so that's good from BB Core two thousand seventeen. There's a lot of good choices. Mako Beast, yeah, at two forty-nine was yeah. four fifty. It depends where you want to be. If you said, "Hey, I want to be two hundred and under," we could totally make that happen. So uh, if that's where you wanted to sit, you could get a real good, good uh, option. Steve wants to know if there's any going to be any good deals. Coming off for the 5150 USA bat. No, I mean, the 5150 USA bat's, you know, pretty good. It's a good deal right by itself. For bucks right now. I mean, it's, you know, most affordable USA bat that's high performing, so. Michael wants, uh, wants to know, he's looking for a good USA bat for 12U baseball, 30-inch, minus 12, that's affordable. Well, minus 12, you're only going to have two and a quarter inch diameter barrel yeah. bat, so that's a drawback in my eyes. Yeah. But, you know, if we need to really be in that weight then that's going to be the bat yeah Which, if you were looking to maybe bump it up to if you said hey we could go to minus 11 then your world gets a little bit bigger you can then go ghost x hyper you can go solo you can go 51 50 so there's a lot of different choices to, to go with and i hope david baker was listening on that because he asked pretty much the same question any usa bats come and drop 12. 
uh, let's see, David Plow says, best bat for my son who's going to be an 11-year-old in Little League using, using the USA stamp next year. Yeah. Best bat for my son. Okay, so, you know, let's see. What was he using last year? If he was using a Mako, then we probably want to stick with the Ghost. If he was using something different, maybe the Solo, the 5150. A lot of different models. I think what we will do, and somebody suggested this, and I forget their name, maybe one episode we'll do nothing but USA talk. I hate to say that and then ignore all the other questions, but unless it's a USA question, we won't answer it. I want to see if people comment and see if you guys want that. I, I'm sure all the USA people will like that. Oh, it's definitely we'll line up. Yeah, we'll line questions. up. We'll line up every single USA bat. We'll spend an hour going through each model, saying who this could be good for. You could see them up close, kind of give you a, you know as close to coming here as possible is what we would try to recreate ultimately. Linda wants to know if the Louisville LXT 2014 fast pitch bat is any good. It's a great bat if you can find it anywhere and not pay, you know, three hundred fifty dollars. You know, I can't imagine anybody having that bat out there. Brian Franklin says best fast pitch bat for twelve U. Uh you know, if she's got some strength, you probably want to look at that minus eleven, like Zeno. LXT or D. Marini uh, CF series. If uh, she needs a little bit more bat speed to create power, I'd probably look at the Vendetta from D. Marini, best minus 12 bat out there, or uh, you know Easton minus 12, whether it's the FS3 from a couple years ago, Hyper Light, or whether it's now the Stealth Flex minus 12. Uh, I have Jamie Johnson. Is the D. Marini minus 10 CFX in the hope the same bat? Uh, yes, ultimately the, the D-Marine, well, the D-Marine minus 10 CFX bat and the, the Hope, those are two different years. So there's some minor changes to it ultimately, but I think the question is, is the D-Marine minus 10 CFX and, uh, let's say, well, there was no Hope this year. They're a little bit different. The CFX versus the Hope, they're, they're somewhat different. Yes. I'm, I'm seeing a couple people that comment. It'd be awesome to do a USA bat episode. Let me check Instagram questions real quick. Cause I'm, you know. And, uh, and then we'll kind of sign off on today. And then you guys have just got to tune in every day at this time. Let's see. Sauce Money, I love closeout bats. We love you too, Sauce. If I fly out to New York this weekend, can I get a discount? P. Kennedy, if you fly out to New York this weekend, that would be very impressive. So we'll talk <laughs> when you get here. Let's we'll buy that. you lunch. Did he say he was from North Carolina? Yes. Is that the guy from North Carolina? Yeah. Ghost or Z now for fast pitch? NJ Fire wants to know. Well, probably more of a club team, but if you guys are allowed to use it, yeah, go with the Ghost. You know, I would say Ghost has done very well for those people. Oh, Vic Daddy 81. You know I love close up bats. We love you too, Vic Daddy. When you stopping in, bro. All right. All right. And every, everybody that's still watching on Facebook, you guys should share this, you know, with all your friends and, you know, share it publicly so we can kind of grow, grow this TV show. Yeah. I want to get picked up by somebody. Maybe like Spike TV. Try to get syndicated. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, so let's just recap real quick. Any questions coming in, we'll just get to it after. But ultimately, we have Monday Madness deals. I'm putting the link up. It just started, 9 o'clock, so orders are kind of rolling in right now. So we got to get back to work is what is what the deal is. Really good deals. Roy picked his two deals, which I don't even know if he knows what that's approved for or whatnot, but I picked my two deals. I like the CF Zen, which is one ninety nine ninety five today, minus 10, 2 and 3 quarter. Retool because it has that orange end cap. Check out those deals. We have the Rawlings giveaway. He's wearing his Rawlings sweatshirt. $500. You can Rock win. On. Yeah, you can win $500 through Rawlings Sporting Goods where you can obviously only buy Rawlings gear. You can't say, oh, yeah, I don't want the $500 from you, Rawlings. I want to buy a De Marini bat. They yeah. will be really offended. And they will probably ban you for life from buying any Rollins gear, even if you wanted to. But guys, check in every day because we're going to be running deals every day. And remember, you could shop smart and save your bucks only at closeout bats this holiday season.